So it's been a while since I put any new content on this channel. And so finally getting back to some cabinet building very soon. But first I wanted to show you a new tool I've built to make cabinet building a lot easier if you're just building one cabinet, if you're like a DIYer, or if you run a, a, a trim or cabinet business, if you're a small cabinet building shop, this tool is for you. It's gonna help you go from rough dimensions to a complete parts list and a PDF cut sheet or a, a CNC cut sheet file very, very quickly, just from those rough dimensions. So I'm gonna walk you through how this works. First, uh, I'm gonna show you the cabinet we're gonna be building today in this program. So this is a cabinet from my kitchen. It's an end cabinet. It's a single door, single drawer. It's got a decorative panel on the left side. It's got an integrated toe kick. Uh, it's got uh, a beaded face frame, inset door, inset drawer. If you pull that drawer out, it's got a dovetail joint. And so if I wanted to build this cabinet, what's the first thing we do is we come up with a parts list. We dimension all our parts and figure out how we're going to put it together. Uh, and that could take a while. Even if you end up using like a, so a professional software program that's expensive or something like a professional cabinet shop would use, um, it's going to be a while, right? You have to configure all that stuff. Uh, so the program I built, the website I built is called cabinetplans.io. Uh, once you sign up and you buy a subscription, uh, it's very low cost, by the way, um, we can get to building that cabinet very quickly. So let's walk through building that particular cabinet. So once you get, uh, once you buy a subscription, you take it to a dashboard. Uh, it's organized by projects. Since you're new, you wouldn't have any new ones yet, but uh, and I've got a couple started here. Uh, so if you're a cabinet shop, this would be, uh, you can organize these by uh, your clients. But for us, I'm going to start a new cabinet project. I'm going to say kitchen cabinets. Okay, I'm going to hit next. All right, so now we have a bunch of different cabinet types we can build. Uh, since this is a kitchen cabinet, we're going to select kitchen cabinet. First, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say sample. Uh, I'll sample one door, one drawer. We'll just say something like that. We, we can call this whatever we wanted to call it. So I'm, it's a base cabinet. The kitchen cabinet, so I'm going to click kitchen base cabinet. Uh, you also see built-in cabinet base, and that's if you're building office cabinets or if you want to get away from predefined values. So let, let me just show you this. So we're going to do a kitchen base. It is, these are all your standard kitchen base cabinets, one drawer, two doors. Uh, you can see what else we have here, three drawers. I'm going to select this kitchen cabinet base, one door, one drawer. All right, so this is the cabinet we're going to be building. Um, since it's a kitchen cabinet, we've already predefined those most common kitchen cabinet features. They're already locked in and we can't change them. So if we wanted to do something where we get away from some of these values, we would just do a built-in cabinet where these things are not predefined, but you can basically build whatever you want. So kitchen cabinet, again, so I'm, this is a 12 inch wide cabinet that we showed in that image, where you can see the cabinet height and the cabinet depth are already pre-assigned at standard kitchen cabinet stuff uh, dimensions for a face frame cabinet. So right now this only supports face frame stuff. We'll be adding frames down the road, but for now, uh, this is what it is. All right, so now let's configure this cabinet. And this is gonna take longer because I'm walking you through all of this, but you know, if you know how to do this, this takes just a, just a minute. So cabinet configuration, how am I con connecting my box part of my cabinet to my face frame? I like to put, uh, build them with grooves. I like to put a groove in my face frame. If you've seen some of my other videos, we'll select grooves, but you could do uh, pocket screws or biscuits or just, or just butt joints. So I'll select grooves. How many shelves am I gonna have in here? Uh, this base cabinet has one, so I'm gonna put one. Uh, you can see I already have the included backboard, so the back plane of that cabinet's already included. It does have a toe kick, and in that particular cabinet, it is an integrated toe kick, where the toe kick is cut out of the side panel and the face frames, uh, it, it's one, basically one cabinet you drop. But if you wanted to do a separate toe kick, you could, that's where you would build like a ladder frame on the ground, you'd level that off, and then you would just drop your cabinet boxes on top of that. But in this case, it's an integrated toe kick. I already went and took some measurements. So my toe kick depth is uh, two and five eighths. So 2.625. The toe kick height is kind of high. It's four and a half inches. So uh, am I extending the styles to the floor? No, not for this cabinet. I am going to have a decorative panel on the left side only. Uh, but if I wanted to do one on the right, I could click that there for a standalone cabinet. Plywood configuration. Uh, how am I building this, this plywood parts of this? Well, how are we building the box? So I'm going to build it out of white birch since it's a paint grade project. The box material thickness, I know from this particular manufacturer, this is a show place cabinet set. It's half inch width. 
uh, but you could also do uh, 23, 30 seconds, three quarter inch, et cetera. Uh, box construction method. How are we putting the box components together themselves? And I like screws and dados, but again, you can select pocket screws. It would give you um, butt joint methodology here. Uh, my door configuration. So uh, it's, if you soften the image, it's an inset door, but we can do three quarter inch overlay. In the future, very soon we'll be adding a half inch overlay and we can add whatever else you want to here as well. Uh, the width of my door styles and rails, I didn't take this measurement, but I think it's about two and a quarter. The height of the door is about 20 inches. Uh, my, my drawer configuration, drawer box material is a hardwood like maple. The drawer side thickness is five eighths. And the methodology for the drill, building the drawer boxes is uh, dovetail. But you can, we also have uh, pocket screw options or locking rabbit, which is very common and popular in, in building uh, bo uh, drawer boxes. Um, face frame stuff. Does it have a beaded face frame? Yes, it does. And the bead radius is about an eighth of an inch. Uh, and we, two different ways we can do our, our um, beaded face frame. We can route it into our components and then put them together, which is sort of the standard way to do it. Or you could build your face frame and add on an applied bead molding after the fact, which we would select here. We're gonna do what this manufacturer did. And we're just gonna say it's a, a routed right onto the frame and then assembled. So that's that first option. Okay, the selection for the wood. Um, it's, it's a bunch of different hardwoods. You can pick whatever you want. And ultimately it doesn't matter. Um, but, uh, as long as you, you're sticking with one hardwood, but we're going to stick poplar. Uh, mine are probably built out of maple. It doesn't matter. Uh, style width is going to be inch and a half. The top rail width is going to be an inch and a half. The mid rail width is going to be an inch and a half. And the bottom rail width is an inch and a half. So you can change all this stuff here. Uh, and now you'll notice that my drawer opening height, it's cause that is a driven dimension is going to be in a five and a half inches, which is what ours is in that picture. All right. So uh, I've taken time to explain how this works, but you, you could see that if you wanted to build this cabinet um, without me yapping through it, it would probably take you about 30 seconds to put this stuff in there if you knew what you wanted to build. All right. So I'm going to hit save cabinet. All right. So now um, the server is configuring it. And now we have a, this is what the cabinet's roughly going to look like. Just a stock image for, for that cabinet type. It doesn't, these images don't change depending on how you build them. We're gonna work on that later on. But you can see how, you can see here how we configured it. Uh, the overall dimensions are there. And this is the nice part. Here's the parts list. Everything's already measured out. Length, width, thickness, material, everything you selected, all of those components, they're all listed right there. We have 22 different components. So uh, some of these have multiple quantities. So in about, if you could do this in about a minute, which it probably what it would take, we've already dimensioned 22 different parts, right? And we've gone ahead and selected um, our hardware list. So that includes soft close hinges with a link to the Amazon page for those, including the part numbers, get them wherever you want, um, and Bloom Tandem uh, drawer runners, right? So with links there as well and the locking devices that goes into the drawers. So this particular cabinet we built and in all of the cabinets on this site as, and on cabinetplans.io are pre-configured for Bloom Tandem drawer runners and bloom uh, your, your whatever your um, soft close hinges are, whether it's inset or overlay. Uh, and so your drawer boxes are sized to that, your drawer box components are already sized to that. And so if you wanted to build a cabinet with, with a drawer that did, didn't want to use bloom, you would go th through this and just ignore uh, your drawer box components. We'll be adding a feature here where you can change some of the parts after the fact, but for now, that's what we got. Uh, after this, I can always uh, click here and edit it. I can always delete cabinets. Uh, so we'll go back to the project. Right now we have this one cabinet, but I could spend the next like, you know, 10 minutes and just keep adding all of the cabinets in my kitchen to this list, right? Once I've built all of my cabinets in this project area, I'm gonna go ahead and generate uh, cut sheets. So right now it's, um, I can email you when the cut sheets are ready. Uh, however, it only takes about 30 seconds or, or less. It's very, very quick. So right now it's processing them. I'm gonna hit refresh. And now I should see a link to download those PDF cut sheets. So I'm not gonna show that in here, but uh, if you were to click this, it would download or open up another tab or however you do it. So um, under 10 minutes, just wanted to show you how this works right now. Uh, the cost for this application, for this web, it's, first of all, it's all web-based. So there's no downloading software. It runs in Windows and Macs, it's online. because So it's not a downloadable application. All of your projects stay up on here. So it'll work on your phone, it'll work on any computer, it works fine. Um, it's uh, cabinetplans.io, 
and then sign up from there. Uh, you have monthly op pricing options around 24 bucks a month. If you just want to jump in, build a couple of cabinets and then jump off. Um, but if you're a cabinet shop, um, you can buy a year long subscription and uh, save a, a good 30%. So uh, email me if you have any questions, message me, any comments, whatever. You can email me at john at uh, cabinetplans.io and john at ourhomefromscratch.com. Uh, have a great day.